Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q4, wrong fingers, <laughs> of the weekly contest 333. Apply operations to make it all away on Mets equal to zero. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. Uh, so, this one I struggle with kind of programming it, but the idea is pretty straightforward to say, if not necessarily come up with. I think, to be honest, I had some experience with this, and that made me kind of have an idea planted in my mind. I think I feel like I did this farm in my past, but I don't remember it because I'm old, so I don't know. But okay, so the, the core idea that you have to kind of start with, uh, and that's, you know, is just. In a greedy kind of way, or maybe, I don't know if it's greedy per se, but everyone's going to be greedy. But let's say you have someone like this. Well, the question you ask yourself is, how, uh, how do we get rid of this two, right? Well, there's really no other way to get rid of these two. You only have one choice, right? Your choice to get rid of this two is to add two to here, um, starting from here. And if we start from here, we have to do it k times. So that means that we do two, 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 right? And then now... Uh, maybe your new implicit array, let's say you already did that, would look something like this. Uh, and really, then now you should know that uh, in a, it's not maybe reduct, uh, inductive, uh, but maybe in a iterative kind of way, you go, okay, well, there's a one here. How can we remove this one? Well, we cannot touch anything before, so there's only one way to remove this one, and that is to you know, add one, one, one. So that's basically really all this problem. Once you kind of realize this, all the moves are forced and there's no decision. I mean, sure, maybe you could kind of do them in different order, but it all sums to the same way. Then, then you know, you just have to figure out how to simulate it in a good way. The good way, it turns out, um, it's maybe a little bit tricky if you haven't seen it before either. Uh, it's something that, to, to be honest, for me, I I know of it, I've seen it, I've done it, but to be honest, I'm also a little bit out of practice on it, so it took me a little bit long time. But the key thing to know is that N and K is 10 to the 5th, so if you do something like a naive, like, okay, let's just, you know, for a bigger case, you just kind of, you know, uh, uh, do a for loop to delete manually, well, that's going to be N square and or n times k anyway and n times k given that you choose 10 to the fifth is not going to be good enough right um so you have to kind of figure it out so the key thing to know is that you can kind of think about this in a, in a different way you can think about this as having segment of length two and what does this mean right uh or link or not seg a link a segment of K3 with rate 2 or something like this, right? And this rate 2 means that, another way to think about it, is that it starts with a plus 2 on the left side and a minus 2 when it ends. And then now, you just, you you kind of code each of these segments in that way. So this one would be plus 1 here, minus 1 here, something like this. And then it'll be the intersection of all these things would be... Um, you know, uh, like for example, if you have something like this, then here, during this part, it may be actually be plus three, and then it goes to negative minus two, so then it'll be plus, plus, uh, plus one, and then it goes to zero at the end as the sum of all these segments, right? So that's basically the idea is using this. I think it's called delta array, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, yeah, it's kind of like prefix sum in a way, but, um, bef but basically it becomes prefix sum once you. Uh, sweep it and sum it up, right? Because that's ultimately what you're doing for. And maybe that is an easier way to kind of think about it, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, maybe that is the. Because I try to. I spent a long time trying to write it this way. Um, and that's the idea is what I said. But maybe the way that I'm going to write it now, live in front of you, is a little bit clearer, right? Which is that, okay. No, I think actually never mind. I think this is actually because you have to kind of do this in a good way. So yeah, I think this is maybe fine. But the idea is just sim doing what we did, but simulating and putting together, which I'm making it sound easier than it maybe is because it's kind of very complicated. Because uh, you have to kind of be careful of all the states. But the idea is just so that the sum of all those segments lines up to be nums, right? And yeah. Uh, 
this is basically so we start and this is almost like uh, we calculating the prefix sum in a rowing fashion, right? So current we contains the current uh, prefix sum, and here we add it to the delta sub i. Uh, and if this is already equal to current, that means that the current prefix sum matches the current number, then we contain you because there's no action to be done. Because, well, if you add, if you do an operation, it can only make it not true. But you know, so so yeah. Otherwise. It has to be bigger, or the, well, I guess it cannot be equal to anymore, but it has to be bigger than the current number, because if it's smaller than the number, that means that you already went over, and there's no possible way, so you return false. If it is possible, then you calculate the delta. Maybe that's, this is a better way of doing it, right? So the change is equal to num sub i minus current. So then now, now, we uh, the way I wrote it is a little bit awkward, maybe. So then now the current number we added to change, right? Because this is you know the beginning of the segment, so we want to draw a segment from i to i plus k. So here, or, or i my i plus k minus one to be more precise. So then here the prefix sum we add the delta to it because this would make this the current you go to num sub i, which would satisfy the condition that the prefix sum at the current uh, index is equal to num sub i. And then we know that in i plus k, we have to be able to subtract it. And that's basically it. And then this is the invariant. And it, and uh, we want to make sure that this is within the, the number of elements. Otherwise, we have fallen off the board because we're too close to the right side of the board. And then we have to return false. Uh, otherwise, yeah, everything matches and we can return true. As you can see, this is linear time, linear space. And yeah. Let me know what you have. Uh, let me know if you have any questions for this one, because it is a little bit tricky. But yeah, uh, you can watch me solve it live in the contest now. All right, silly mistake. Uh, 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 uh. All right, let's go. Apply operations to make all array elements equal to zero. Uh, choose a separate way. I feel like I did. Like I feel like this problem was done at some point, but. I think this is just greedy, right? Because basically the leftmost thing has to be done x times and then you just kind of shift and then do it. So there really is... Um, okay, so then that's settled, but they have to figure out how to simulate it in a good way. So then it just becomes... So it becomes like almost like a prefix some kind of thing of okay. Right, so okay, so basic. Uh, I mean, the, the idea is easy, but I think there, or uh, I don't know, the core idea is easy, but I have to make sure that I'm really careful about this one. But okay, fine. So then you have some like delta away as you go to do, 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 times n, or maybe n plus one or something like this. I always don't know how to do this one quite right. It's just the difference away or something. I think this is relatively new to me, but so that's why I'm, you know, but that's okay. I in range of n. So then now num sub i. Um, it's either that or I could also use like one of those weird data structures, but maybe I don't have to. Um, so we want. Uh, this is not quite right. This is basically. Da, 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 da. We want something like this. But not quite. Uh, or like that's not sufficient. Or like it's something. It, this is not quite what I. I mean, this is the idea is what I want, but it's not quite uh, it. Right. But I don't even know in this case do I even need it. Right. So basically, what I'm saying is that okay, maybe I could think about another way of writing this. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, maybe I just need this, right? Um, uh, okay, so how do I do it? How do I do it? I mean, I have the idea, but I think I have to practice implementing this. Okay, so do, 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 do. I, and then we minus delta sub i, right? 
So then now, now the current delta would be the current. So if num sub i is greater than current, then del um, then then this thing. It's not num sub i. It's num sub i minus current. Else we return false. Otherwise we return true. Maybe. No, it has to be exact, right? So. So this isn't so. If, th if this is greater, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know if it's greater is equal to zero, but else return false. But I think I'm missing some cases. But the idea is should be right. Um, I'm missing the case where if it's less than zero, then we're done. But. Because everything is forced. Am I done? I don't know. Okay, well, definitely not because it's not right for this one. Uh, what is k again? k is 3, so, okay, 0. We go here, we minus 3. So we're forced to do this one twice. And then here, we're forced to do this one once. Hmm. I feel like I'm almost right, but maybe I'm off by one. Delta plus k, so k is three. So for this one, it runs off here. That sounds right. So the two runs off here. Hmm. All right, let me just print out some stuff. Mm, I thought it would print out more stuff, but okay, fine. So zero is two, and then it returns false really quickly after that. Uh, num sub i is bigger than current. This isn't quite right. Or uh, I have to do this first. the current and then current is you go to num sub i technically is this adds this minus current or something like this so okay fine right the idea should be right but maybe I'm implementing it very poorly okay zero zero makes sense and then it goes to two one it goes to two and then it returns force right after that. Why? Tell me why. Oh, because it's equal. So I guess this is equal. Oops. Hmm. Okay. So do 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 do. You know, the first one is two. At the second one, it's two. So then it adds three. Um. But then it should come down. Did I have the signs wrong on this one? Nums minus current. And why am I so slow on this one? Tell me why. Oh, this is off because it's no longer true. So if nums is equal to current, then we add here and then we subtract this. So, so we add this and subtract this at the same time. That's why that's. All right. I want to three. That's one. That's good. We Gucci. So why is it returning false? Where am I returning false? Am I, am I maybe off by one here? I think I'm off by one on that one, but still though. So one, two, three, four. So four is four. So it got that far. Oh, this is always going to return false because... Um, I'm missing like a conditional. Hey, I'm really bad today. Hmm. 
Uh, okay. Maybe what I want is uh, if numbs. This isn't quite right. Uh, okay, and this is if numbs of i. Uh, maybe I want something like if numbs of i is equal to current, then we continue because we've done nothing with this. We don't need to do anything with this. Is that good enough? Is that the change that I was looking for? I sound like I'm on. Was that show Sex in the City or something? Like just talking to myself a lot. Um, I don't. I think I'm off by one somewhere, but I'm also lazy, so I'm gonna yolo submit. Okay, maybe not. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm, this contest, everything in between. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.